My name's David Owen, I'm the senior resident engineer to the Iris Projects. Well, here we are at the site near the White Ho, David. Just talk us through what we can see below us here, this fantastic uh, mess, actually, at the moment. No, that's <laughs> a good word, mess. This is the main storage area for the works from Lee Terrace to the actual new sewage works at Mary Vegg, which is approximately in excess of five kilometer stretch. What you see here is what we call the laydown area, so we can service the pipelines without causing major disruption. In front of us are the red pipes, which are the main feeder pipes. Mm -hmm. The black pipes are the ducting pipes, which we put in. We put miles of this in for cables, telecom cables, etc. The purple pipe is for the telemetry system, which will actually talk to all the sewage pumping stations, etc. And then as you look around the site, you see the various suboil heaps, because we believe very strongly in resalvaging the materials. Mm -hmm. Out in the far extreme there, you see us rebanking rather than take materials off site. Concrete manhole rings, site accommodation, so really everything is, is this is this is the feeder camp, this is base camp one. Just tell me about this policy you've developed here, David, of not removing all the spoil and spending money and time carting it all around the island. Uh, it's going to look a bit unnatural, that, isn't it? Well, no, we're, go we're going to gl uh, basically grasp the banks in. Mm. As you go further on to, to the rest of the development, you'll actually see where we're, we're trying to recreate Manx sod hedges for want of a better word right bearing in mind that's the railway track there anyway yeah <coughs> which really has quite a tatty fence that you can see yes so we're getting we're getting a reuses benefit here which is good for all of us uh, because the island we were on an island here and resources are just as tight as anywhere else yeah. and you know these things this is the betterment because at the end of the day i'm hoping when you look at this in a year's time charles this is going to look like we've never been here that's my policy that that's the ultimate aim of yeah. any good engineering yes. project this telemetry business now, just briefly tell us how this is going to work. Where will the main monitoring section, when all this is up and running, be? Where will people look at their computers from? Well, one of the main monitoring stations will be at Mary Veg, the main treatment works, but also there'll be a monitoring station probably at the sea terminal mm. end. But the principle is, with the technology we've got, with this, with, with this system, we can talk to the system and fault find it all day long. Mm. So it's just a laptop connection, but it's miles and miles of cable, obviously, involved in this particular thing. Let's just look down the road here towards the nunnery. Um, you've taken the opportunity as well as putting in these massive pipes to widen and uh, improve the quality of the road. That's sort of two jobs being done at the same time, isn't well, it? Well, we feel that, 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 that the upgrading of the road network, to take the advantage where we're going to have such massive disruption and then just to put a pat tarmac patch down, which you've seen over the years, is not the policy any longer. It's like the reason we have so many ducks and things here is for future use. Because you see it so many times, you finish your road and two weeks later the gas board are digging it up or the electricity board. This is not the policy of the DOT. The policy is a brand new road. And in fact, Roy Cool's instruction to me is no roads will be dug up for a three year period minimum after they've been laid. The other thing, of course, is we're taking the advantage now to relay this concrete foundation. And because the stonework, as you can see, is fairly rotted, so we want to put back the natural mount stonage again. Yeah. We've got to be sympathetic at all times. This is a very ancient and traditional part of the island, the nunnery estate, the beautiful little gatehouse there, the great stone walls. How secure, for example, is that little gatehouse with its lovely sandstone pillars? That is 100% secure. The, 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 the whole essence to, to, to Iris is, is to put back, improve, and we use the phrase betterment. But things like that, they are then, to, to us, they're, nat they're national monuments mm. and they're protected. I mean, you've been there today yourself, you've recorded them and in a year's time you'll come back and we will reposition them. Mm. How can I recreate that? Mm. I can't. Mm. 